Hello Star Wars fans and welcome to another video. This is a really cool video because these products are from the UK. Yes! I've not had to source them from outside of the UK which makes such a nice change. They're not from the US and uh, I'm, I'm, I, love the, I love what you guys in the US are doing, don't get me wrong, and I'm still buying lots of uh, American food packaging um, so and trading bits as well. So, um, But um, yeah, so <laughs> don't get me wrong. We don't get a lot of Star Wars food packaging yet. There's a lot more coming, but um, at the moment, um, in 2015, we've had the um, Star Wars cereal by Kellogg's um, with the double-sided R2D2 Darth Vader box. Um, check back in our videos for a review on the cereal, and um, you can actually hear me crunching a bowl of cereal. That's great. It makes for a great video, that sound effect. But um, yeah, seeing back to the biscuits, um, it's the end of August 2015, and uh, we, we've had so much Star Wars already. We've had Secret Cinema of Dars, Empire Strikes Back, which was mind-blowing. We've had the um, exhibition, um, Star Wars exhibition at Madame Two Swords, the second series of Star Wars Rebels. It's just crazy Star Wars, uh, amazing, products coming out and we're about to hit um, Force Friday and then we're, we're going to be monsooned with amazing Star Wars toys and figures and vehicles and more than we, more than we have space for, more than we have money to purchase. Um, but I'm not complaining. Uh, Fox's Biscuits here in the UK have brought out two amazing I love packaging and I love really good packaging and this is really good packaging. I've got a little grumble about the bag on the left, it's only a tiny grumble but the uh, bars on the right, Empire bars, are absolutely spot on, amazing, I love it. Um, Right, let's start with my let's start with my grumble. Right, the bag on the left. Now there there are mini bags inside. There are six mini bags, and um, I've picked these up in Asda. Now I can't even I can't even claim sort of I found these. Look at this, because <laughs> my wife's cousin Jamie he um, he he um, texted a photo through to me and uh, said. Uh, and say, ah, look what I found that you haven't, oh, ha ha, and um, they've just put them on display, and so they're a new, new, new item out, and uh, so, uh, yeah, thanks, Jamie, for um, the heads up on those, really appreciate that, and um, so, uh, yeah, there's six mini bags inside, um, but the packaging itself is really cool, but the shape of the packaging doesn't do it justice, I think, personally, uh, foxes would be better off putting uh, the mini bags into keeping the bag the bars in the packaging you see on the right but putting the the mini bags into a box that would have been better for me storage wise and sort of um, aesthetic wise as well for me anyway but um, I'll show what the bag looks like flattened out and you can see, the, see what you think so you can see the the elongated version of Vader there, and uh, I think personally it looks much better. It would look much better with a box. And that's not my only grant. my only grumble. I love the packaging. I love the style, and I love the image itself. Nice and close. It's, it's a really cool image on that galactic snacks, uh, strawberry flavor mini biscuits. And there's six bags, as it says at the top there. Six snack packs, uh, suitable for lunch boxes. And I can imagine I will be having a few of these in my pack lunch box. And so that's the Vader one. Inside you have six mini bags. There's no variants, so they're all the same. They're all the same Yoda packaging. And then you've got uh, three different styles of biscuits inside. So that's the front and back of the mini bag packaging. And the actual biscuits inside, there is as a stormtrooper, there's Vader, and there's C-3PO. So that's the that's that one done. Now on the right you have the Empire bars, which I love. That the packaging for me is much easier to open, um, and it's going to be much easier to get the bars out. And uh, I don't know whether I'm going to store them yet with because it's hard when you're storing certain types of food because uh, you store stuff away for a long time. Some food goes funny and something you know, So there's a bit of, uh, Steve Sansweet does a really good lecture actually on um, storing 
storing food. So you should check that out, I'll see and find that on YouTube. But um, with the bars, it's really easy to get into the packaging and I've gone in through the seam there. So you looks like, I took my time with this one, I rushed with the uh, mini bags and I uh, went in through there. I should have gone in through the seam along here and it looked like it's never been open, which I will do with the other ones. So you know, I'll take my time. I just want to get them open so I'm so excited. Uh, the the uh, Empire Bars, absolutely love this. It's so cool and it's, you know can't get enough Stormtroopers. Absolutely fantastic image of the Stormtrooper there. And yeah, that's the reverse of the packaging. Foxes have done such a cool job. And I think possibly this is an Asda only um, exclusive. I don't know how long for, but like the uh, earlier in the year, the Kellogg cereal was an Asda exclusive. I think it was just three months. And um, so then it filtered out into other stores. So Sainsbury's, Tesco, um, Morrison's picked it up after then, but um, Asda had it as an exclusive. So I, I, I can't find this these for sale anywhere else. So I'm assuming Foxes have done the same deal. So for a, a period of time, you'll only see these in Asda, which is great for me because I've got several Asda stores nearby, and at the moment they're doing them for a pound each. So, uh, absolute fantastic Star Wars bargain. It's a great piece of collectibilia, and it's an amazing price. Now, in the Empire Bars pack, you have really cool packaging. You have Vader, and you also have a Stormtrooper. And, surprisingly, well, I thought it was surprisingly, you have a very very angry looking Darth Maul and uh, yeah it's really nice to see Darth Maul so very cool packaging just the usual ingredients and allergy advice on the rear of the packaging so that's what you get is what you see there so really nice I love what they've done with these so I'll, have, I'll, I'll be able to get the cookie bar out of these and then display and they'll be able to refill it with probably it's going to be like a, a styrofoam sort of um, bar sized replacement just to pad it out for display but that's going to go in my display room because I love those and there's eight of those in the pack um, really really cool the the bar itself looks like a standard sort of cookie bar so uh, close up cookie bar yeah. uh, no, I'm not going to focus on the cookie bar. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And there's the cookie bar. So, um, yeah, so really, really impressed. I'm so happy as something's come out in the UK. There, there are more bits coming out in the UK. Just um, they're, they're trickling out slowly. Um, there was a hint of... Um, I, I, I've not... So I've, this bit, I've not, got, I've not had any confirmation um, on this, that um, there is a biscuit tin coming up. Now... I possibly, maybe foxes, maybe you guys, you could be the guys doing the biscuit tin. Um, somebody did say to me there's going to be a uh, Marks and Spencer exclusive biscuit tin, and it wasn't like a, um, it wasn't like don't tell anyone. It was like oh this is happening. It's got quite common knowledge, and uh, so I've heard a couple of people talk about it, so it's out there. So I'm not spoiling that for anyone. And nobody's told me not to say it because when people tell me not to mention things. I don't mention them, so um, I just let them have you know, let them come out in their own time. But um, so um, I've, I've been very good like that. Um, and, um, so yeah, so keep an eye out for this biscuit tin. Um, Burton's biscuits did one um, quite a few years back, and it wasn't out for very long, and um, it did look absolutely fantastic. And I've got a few of those actually tucked away in my collection. Really, really cool. Um, but Foxes, you've done an amazing job with these. Really like it. And I hope you're going to do something else. I hope you're going to bring out something Force Awakens. That would be really, really cool. Keep a range going. And do, if you're not doing a tin, do a tin. Collectors love a tin. So, um, yeah, absolutely. If you, if you are the guy doing the tin, I can't wait to see it. But, um, yeah, do a tin if you're not. If, if you haven't planned it, please do a tin. Um, and do a Force Awakens tin. Then you can also do a, oh, an original trilogy tin. Then you can do a prequel trilogy tin. And there's no other thing to do. A, oh, you could do a Clone Wars tin, a Rebels tin. It'd be absolutely amazing. 
and uh, I look forward to what you guys are doing next. Um, I can't wait to see it. So, um, as I said, at the time of filming this video, they're only available in Asda and they're a pound a pack at the moment, so you might find them in the future elsewhere for a different price, but if you get out there now, just a pound a pack. An absolute Star Wars bargain. So guys, as always, I tweet stuff. As soon as I find it, it goes on Twitter. So just like that. And uh, so I, f I tell you what I found, what I paid, where I found it. And then you guys can get out there and make the most of the Star Wars bargains and the amazing new stuff that's coming out. Um, then stuff goes on to YouTube and you get to see my videos and you get to hear me waffle on about amazing stuff. So go through my old videos, there's something there for everyone. If you like food packaging, there's loads of food packaging. If you like Star Wars clothing, there's Star Wars clothing. If you like footwear, there's footwear. If, there's, if you like figure reviews, there's figure reviews. There's, there's loads of stuff on there, so there's over, well over 600 videos at the moment. So um, there's lots and lots to choose from. Do subscribe, do share the video and comment. Let me know if you've tried the biscuits. I've tried them. They're very good biscuits. I like biscuits. What can I say? A cup of tea and a few packs of these. I'm a happy boy. So, uh, so yeah, do, let me know what you think. I think they'll be fantastic for party bags. I'm just so oh, I'm really upset they didn't come out a couple of weeks earlier. And I would have had them for my, um, my nephew Oliver. He would have loved these in his party bags. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, until next time, which won't be too long, <laughs> um, may the force be with you. And bye for now.